Friends, I want you to cast your memories back to the 4th of July last year. It seemed like the city was filled. Actually, I wouldn't even say it was just the weekend of the 4th of July. It felt like all summer, filled with the sound of illegal fireworks. Weeks before the holiday began, we saw stunning scenes just like this. Maybe it was because we were all on lockdown and people were letting off steam, or maybe people had nowhere else to go. Either way, Last year, the L.A. County Fire Department had its second busiest day ever on the 4th of July with 1,600 calls. The city's fire department handled almost 1,800 calls, mostly fires sparked by fireworks. Now, it's not just the fires we have to be concerned with, which is a real concern. Joining us now is Fire Captain uh, Eric Scott, who is also the public information officer for the Los Angeles Fire Department. Good to see you, a familiar face to us, and it's nice to see this face without a mask on, my friend. Um, <laughs> Obviously, uh, you know, your firefighters, the concern predominantly is fire. We are in a drought. All of us know this. The high temperatures of the summer, the dry conditions, uh, that is probably front of mind for, for your department. No, you're absolutely right. Yeah, we wish we had some good news, but um, we anticipate it to be bad. It's been bad for the last few years, as we all know, and that's really due to three primary reasons. It's the drought, climate change, and people are moving in to what we call the wildland urban interface for near brush areas. And if you look at it statistically, in the, over the whole state, we burned over 4 million acres last year. That's double the previous record. So it's gonna be another busy year, and that means three things for all of us to do. We need to make sure we know that Ready, Set, Go program. Sure. We need to make sure we, we harden our home because it's those ember casts that can land on your home. And then lastly, is make sure we do that proper brush clearance. Yeah, we're showing a lot of video here of the fireworks. And obviously, as we head into the weekend, we know it's uh, a temptation to fire off those fireworks. We know th there is a benefit this year. There will be more uh, official shows, right? Because the world has opened up a little bit more. We know that the city and county on, on the law enforcement side are doing what they can to crack down on those Ill illegal fireworks. But I know this is a huge concern for you and your department, the danger it poses not only for fire, but the, uh, the danger to people who may get injured setting these things off. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a, the major concern there. But we tell people to think of your neighbors. You know, it's really about the kids, the pets, and the vets. So what we mean is it's the kids that are statistically those that are most injured, those that end up in the emergency room, you know, fingers literally blown off, hand injuries, eye injuries, face injuries, very, very hard to see. And then it's the pets this time of year that run away, they're scared, they don't know what's happening. And then the, the combat veterans feel like they're back in a war zone. And we see this exasperate PTSD. So it's not just about us and the fun you wanna have in your cul-de-sac. Go see a professional show and think of your neighbors. Look back to last year. Um, it, it was a frustration to so many people to know that there was th this many. I mean, you, you could see just the haze around the area, right? Because of all the illegal fireworks shows. What, what, what do you wanna say to people out there? Well, First off, to remember that in Los Angeles, it's illegal to use fireworks. Now, we don't come up with that rule, but we do agree with it. And we know that it's going to be very, very busy. You know, surrounding 4th of July last year, we responded to an additional 429 emergency incidents above our daily average, and we're already busy. And so it's just the obvious reminder that fireworks cause painful and deliberate uh, debilitating injuries and they leave a lifetime of scar, permanent eye injuries, and then the fires that we see. We see they get, uh, get into the trees that can catch apartments on fire. We had that happen last year. It gets into the grass and the brush. And as we all know, we're really in these dry summer months right now to where uh, it's very susceptible to a spark. Yeah, we need to say it every year. It's a reminder, and hopefully one more person hears it, uh, and we can prevent an injury, we can prevent a fire, we can prevent loss of life. Uh, all right, Captain Eric Scott, always a delight to see you. Soon we'll be able to do this in person instead of having to be in Zoom rooms together. Look forward to it. Everyone be safe. You be safe as well, you and the department. Thanks for all the work that you're doing.